Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at another space game called Astro Kill. Now let's just jump into it, and I'll show you what it's all about, because this game is better seen in action rather than me talk about and explain what it's all about. <laughs> And welcome to uh, Astro Kill, one of the second, I believe, missions in the main campaign for one of the uh, factions here. So the way this works is, uh, in this particular mission, you have to defend the station. You can select a craft you want to pilot. They're kind of slightly different. One is faster and has uh, smaller weapons. One is slower and has bigger weapons. I'm going to go for this one. And uh, once I select it, basically, I'm put into the seats of the pilot. In this particular game, all of the um, motion is a Newtonian physics uh, obedient. In other words, if I stop moving my engines, I'll keep moving in the same direction. Unless, of course, I re-enable automatic thrust. Um, the game is very, very beautiful. The game has really good sound effects, really, really excellent AI, and uh, very realistic um, gunplay. The guns are actually pretty cool in this, in this game as well. So we're going to play through this a few times. Uh, hopefully, we will not lose. And um, we'll see how this mission goes. The enemies are not here yet, but we have to defend this base. Also, whenever you're running out of ammo, what you can do is fly through this really, really cool... Oh, here they come. Fly through this really, really cool entrance right here. And this will recharge your guns. Anyway, time to kill some enemies. Now, this game also has a shield function which you engage by pressing G, and when this shield is engaged, you basically are temporarily protected from enemy fire. Uh, all right, so first wave defeated. The coolest thing about this game, though, is that it does have really challenging AI, and it does have really challenging um, combat mechanics. So this is not an easy game. Even on third mission that I wanted to show you originally, but kind of was, you know, kept dying in it, uh, is really, really hard. Uh, as a matter of fact, most of these missions are pretty challenging and you do have to learn how to control your craft so you don't do this and basically damage your boat. I'm gonna go repair and get some uh, more ammo. Oh, great. Mission. Missile lock. Uh, well, that's nice. That's a nice start. Alright, so we're run, run out of ammo in our main cannon. So we're gonna have to rely on the secondary weapons only. And uh, once we're out of ammo completely, we're gonna go and reload by flying through that uh, spacecraft right there. Okay, there we go. And there's actually an enemy on my tail right now, so I'm gonna try to do this really, really fast and really, really accurately by trying to fly through this tiny, tiny entrance super fast. Okay, that is not the entrance, that is not the entrance! And there you go lost the ship okay then not a good start luckily we can just switch to the next boat right away and continue our gameplay now essentially this is what this game is like it's actually really fast paced it's kind of fun every mission takes about five to ten minutes to finish and there's quite a lot of missions um to begin with now the game is still in um development so it's not actually finished just yet but even though what we have now is already quite impressive even as an alpha, this is very, very impressive. The, but most importantly, the combat feels so much fun. Every mission has quite a different taste to it. Every mission has uh, some kind of a challenging uh, side mission. Oh, great. I'm still being attacked. And every mission will make you try to try uh, more and more, try and try again, until you can actually finish it with better results. And there we go. I think this is the end of this particular mission. I'm, uh, I'm going to go rearm and hopefully finish uh, this particular level without any more deaths. And so that's essentially Astro Kill in a nutshell. I don't think there's anything else for me to show other than the fact that there's actually two factions. The only main difference is visual, I think. They do have slightly different weapons and slightly different colors and slightly different looking ships. But other than that, I haven't really noticed any difference at all. And for the most part, I actually kind of like to play as both, occasionally taking turns uh, between the levels, especially when I can't really finish one level or the other. 
Un unfortunately, there's no multiplayer yet, but there is something called survival mode. So let's actually try this with this other faction that I haven't shown yet. Uh, and in this particular mission, basically, your goal is to choose a ship that you would like and then survive for as long as you can. Ooh, this is a really cool looking boat. Let's try this. And so as you can see, basically it's just the color scheme that's different. Everything else, for the most part, is relatively the same. And so that's essentially what Astro Kill is all about. You basically battle other enemies, try to survive, um, try to defeat them using really conventional, really cool weapons. And um, once you... Oh wow, that was really fast. Once you succeed, you go to the next mission. And there is my second kill. Yes, that's right. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. And hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with people that enjoy watching various reviews of space games. And that want to learn to use video games as well. And you know what? Consider supporting this game. Go and buy it if you liked it. And possibly um, by the time it comes out in multiplayer, we might be able to play this together. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye. Space out, space you later, and I'm gonna go repair my ship like a pro by flying through this tiny hole and whoosh! Oh, look at that! Repaired and rearmed. Awesome possum. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.